Hello friends, I'm Sharon from Natural Awakenings Magazine and today I am joined by Jeff Carpenter of Dimensions Reiki. Jeff is my Reiki master. I've studied under Jeff and I've participated in the Reiki healing circles and if I was to recommend anyone it would definitely be Jeff and Jeff is going to tell us, oh no thank you, Jeff is going to tell us how he has made the pivot from his normal operations to working in our new world and delivering his services and classes to his students uh, under under our new circumstances. So thank you so much for joining me today, Jeff. Well, thank you for having me. Uh, it's a very important time, especially when you're looking at what I do from a holistic health perspective, that you have to get the confidence of your clients that are gonna allow you to do distance or remote work. But many of the big changes are some of the struggles that people have. The change in the computer, you know, right now the computer is an assistant. It's going to assist your business. It's not a burden. One of the mindsets that I recommend concludes that. How do we change what we see as an opportunity versus a challenge? Yet, from a holistic perspective, you also need to show and demonstrate that your services are viable from either an online perspective or as we're talking about Reiki from a distance perspective. Working with clients, and I'm telling you right now, it's, it's rough, it really is needed. Uh, working with clients who are hospitalized with pneumonia due to the COVID virus. It is such a great experience to really help them breathe better. It's that simple. How do you then demonstrate it? But the way you demonstrate it is giving them an opportunity to slowly evolve into accepting it. Uh, for example, you mentioned some of the Reiki circles. It's a very easy way that I've decided to do a Zoom group chat where people can pop in, they, can, they don't even need their video up. It's in the comfort of their own home and that's part of how this works. If you can start showing your services, uh, telehealth, um, consulting from an online perspective where they can get the information, they can get their confidence in you built up, you're going to see how they're going to want to then expand in new services. But this is now the time, especially with the amount of time we have for some of the business people and under the challenges we're facing, this is the time that you should be ready to rebrand yourself. What are the ways you get to find new approaches to business? The internet is going to be a great service for all of us especially going forward with the way we're going to be doing new ways to connect to customers. But it's also going to be a way to store things. Don't underestimate the idea of classes, meditations, services, then being downloadable according to whatever you want to use. Uh, I have meditations in a live perspective. I have meditations that I save and let people use. If you do not underestimate how your business can then take advantage of this from a marketing perspective. Maybe you're going to find, and the internet, by the way, is going to give you new ways to find people you've never experienced before. And if you have that service, you have that capability at your fingertips, why not then change your marketing plan or adapt your marketing plan to find new potential clients that are ready to work with you from an online perspective? That's what I, I really love about the way that our community is responding to the situation because there are so many more people who are looking for a holistic approach to health. How can, how can I use this time to come out of it as my best self? And I know that you're still offering the normal classes that you would host normally in your office but you're doing them online now. And what are, what are some of those programs that you're offering? I'm still training new Reiki uh, students from the beginning all the way up through the master level. And I've, I've given them some credit because they do have to accept that this is something that can be done online. They're used to doing this in person. Uh, many of the people in the meditation circles are used to doing it in person. There are the people that are going to give you the chance to sh show you them how you can do this online. So I've adapted things like spiritual guide work. I've adapted 
things like the Reiki classes themselves, uh, psychic development, the Reiki shares for practitioners, finding the way that you get to then do pretty much what you've done in person through a video conference or even just an audio conference if you're doing things like a meditation. You're going to find people that are going to see that kind of value. But also, as I mentioned, this is the time to rebrand yourself. This is the time to say, let's take the availability that we have now and really look at something new. One of the new programs I'm putting together, and I've been talking about it for years, and I honestly didn't really have the time to do a lot of this, but I've created a new program called Mastering Your Energy. It's a seven module program because everyone keeps asking me the same questions. How do I improve my own protection? How do I ground better? How do I, and this is not spiritual. As a lot of people think that this is a spiritual set of questions. This is how do you manage yourself from an energy perspective on a daily basis? It doesn't require Reiki. It doesn't require being a practitioner. But think about what that takes. It takes creating the modules. It takes take, uh, a new approach to how we're going to market it. How are we then going to share it? But with the seven modules, you get to then learn the techniques that are going to help you on an everyday basis to improve your own well-being. I'm talking about spiritual. I'm talking about physical. I'm talking about emotional. For how do you manage the energy, A, you receive, and B, you put out. That has nothing to do with necessarily Reiki. It has nothing to do with psychic work. It has to do with recognize that on a daily basis, we exchange energy with everybody. And I am proud to be bringing this to people. Also, I'm taking advantage of the time that I now have with the challenges we're facing to say, now's the opportunity to really stretch out. And the one thing about the internet, and that's something I wanna make sure people are considering when you look at this from a business perspective, people may find you. When you start really reaching out from an internet perspective, nothing says it's only gonna be in your neighborhood, your state. Finding the opportunity to create these online options also gives you an opportunity to start sharing with people you wouldn't normally reach. The in-person traveler is great, and that's always gonna be a backbone of what we do. But the way you can start getting other business from other countries sometimes, from other states, definitely. Having that visibility is going to take you to a whole new level in your business that you may really start to appreciate how you're going to have an in-person and an online presence as you start to go forward. I love that. I, I love that answer so much. Um, I, when I post stuff on our social media, I always make sure to include LinkedIn because I have... Oh, yeah about 5,000 connections around the globe. And that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, I'm sending my energy around the world, baby. And uh, I love the fact that you talk about energy separate from spiritualism, because I think a lot of people might look at the two the same, but really energy is our vibration of what you could be an atheist. You still have a vibration. So what Jeff is teaching us is how to, manage that vibration and direct that vibration. And I think that's awesome that you're offering that. How do people get involved? When is it? How do they get in touch with you? You made a very good point about the, uh, the approach when it comes to energy, because we tend to forget all the electricity in our body is energy. It has, there are levels of energy, just like we have levels of steam versus heat versus electricity. We have all sorts of different types. But that's where I come from. As you know, uh, as Sharon, you know, I'm an a engineer. I have a NASA, engineering NASA. degree. <laughs> yes, I've worked with NASA. <laughs> but if you think about the changes and transformation of energy, that's the key for all of us. That's exactly what we're doing right now. When I'm speaking, all the electricity is going through my body to handle this. So the program is then starting um, April 27th. It's gonna be a series on Monday nights, the first seven series, those are the live sessions. So there's gonna be the available question and answer at dimensionsreiki.com. You will be able to find the calendar where we will have each one of those there. 
they're going to be viewable via Vimeo as well. So you don't have to participate. You can uh, download them. You can watch them online. But that's the key to start expanding your own business as well, looking at how we can take advantage of the computer as an assistant, as an asset that then allows you to touch new clients that you may never even meet until they're able to find you online in, in a different kind of search that they're doing now. So we're going to have the seven programs, one after another, as a live. We're going to reschedule them as well. But there's going to be the option in the Q&A to talk, to join other services. But this is something that, especially in these times, recognizing stress and anxiety and fear, we're all still building it up. And we don't have outlets. Some of these outlets that we have are being taken away because we need that social distancing. We need that protection and isolation for the time being. It doesn't mean you can't be working on your own energy. You can't be working on how you're releasing it in new ways. And that's really the goal behind this. How are you going to find out how science and spirituality combine so that you are going to know the science behind how you're going to improve your own well-being? That's amazing. And I will include the details in the, the uh, description below. And Jeff, is there anything else that you'd like to leave us with before we say thank you and sign off? That would be great. I appreciate you having me here. Um, it's one of those things that I think is going to be critical in how we move forward. But, and I'll leave that message, don't be afraid as a business person to rebrand yourself and see opportunity in some of the things that you may weren't you may really weren't looking at doing in the past. You're going to see the new potential for new clients and your services may really start to explode in ways you didn't expect. Which is a great attitude. And I, I love the fact that you're embracing the opportunity versus some people are being paralyzed by it, but not you, you're awesome. And well, uh, the answer is you're already doing it anyway. It's like saying, well, I'm already going to sit there and do this teaching. I'm already going to do this class. I'm already doing it in person. Why not speak at it in front of a camera and save it? It's the same kind of idea. If you're going to do it anyway, then why not record it so that you have the ability to reach out to many more people? Exactly. And uh, I think the audience from around the world is going to be very lucky to get to speak with you and learn with you because you. you're awesome. And namaste thank you for being with me today and stay safe and we'll check back in with you next week week after whatever works for you that sounds great thank you very much all right awesome have a wonderful evening and everybody out there have a have a great weekend if we don't talk again <laughs>